Hello and welcome back to the fish locker out for a walk on the shore now young James and I have gone for a little bit of a walk where are we now? At the black sand beach. We're on a black sand beach that looks same. and there's no more sand right there there is normal sand right there we're out for a little bit of a walk along an area of shore we're going to bring a fishing rod with us just in case we get a chance of having a little bit of a fish but this is mainly just a recce out for future sessions. Now, the tide is almost at the bottom of the ebb, so it means it's gone out almost all the way. We've got about maybe another hour. You can see here's the high tide line behind us. You can see where all the bad weather's pushed all the shingle right up the bank. And we are going to walk that way. This way, come on. I brought a rod with us. And I've got a couple of little bits of bits of tackle, just a couple of hooks, a bit of line, a couple of sinkers. And we might, if we get a decent spot, we might try for a ras. I have a lure in my bag in case we see anything that looks a bit bassy. All this is really is it's our little bit of exercise and we're gonna wreck it out for a new spot. You'll be careful. One of the things that I guess we kind of take for granted in some areas of the UK, which it's, it's been highlighted to me by, by people who live in the Mediterranean especially, and other areas of the world, is how big a tidal range we have here in the UK. Sometimes a year, I mean right now we have got some big tides at the moment, so there's about four and a half to five metres of movement. So you can see that the high tide line is well above where we are, and the low tide line is right down there. So yeah, we do get quite a lot of movement in the UK. I'm going to go past some of these old ruins and follow it around the coast. The area that we're walking through now, just all like the boat sheds. But this, um, this large stone building, you can't really miss it behind me, can you? This area used to be, over there is still a quarry. And there used to be a stone mill up here. And that was the old, um, the old stone silo. So big ships used to come in here and be loaded up with uh, with aggregate. So that's what that is. What you found? A plant. Oh, right. Yeah. You can see here where he's used a winch. I don't know if you can see the winch up inside inside that shack to pull the boat up the shingle. Because these boats have got to run up the shingle, they have got reinforced skids underneath the bottom of them. And what they usually use is they use like logs as rollers. You do? Let's have a little bit of a walk down here. I'm going to follow that track up there. I've left James down there busying himself, rearranging the beach, and I'm going to have a little walk down here. That down there to me looks rassy. Especially that gully there. And that one. What we might do. What we might do is depending how far down that way we get, because we're going to follow the path along the cliff. So we might come back here and might have a little tiny bit of a fish there. See if we can't winkle out a ballon rass. But yeah, you can see, you see that little gully that runs up there, that'll be quite sheer down these sides. I mean, I can't estimate the depth, but it'll be, it'll be over six foot in that gully and over there as well. So Ras will be hidden in the little caves underneath. 
Right, well we've scaled the big bank. I'm just about to see the top of inside of there now and you can see the quarry up behind. And, what are you ready? I'm going to go for a little bit of a walk now. One of the things, one of the things that I mentioned now is we'd, um, it is the middle of winter and it is cold but the best thing and what we're trying to teach our kids as well is the importance of layers. Now, when it's cold, put quite a few different layers on. As soon as you start to get warm again, start taking one or two of your layers off. Otherwise you end up sweating. Like we've just come up that bank there and we're both sweating by the top of it. Take a couple of layers off, keep your temperature right. Otherwise you end up getting too hot, don't you? Yeah, and you might explode. I'm not sure you'll explode, but you'll get too hot and sweaty. So let's have a walk down here, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I've come down here once before, but it was in the middle of the night. And uh, I got startled by an owl. I was just walking around with my headlamp, and uh, I, I turn it off so that my eyes can, can kind of adjust to the night. And like every hundred or so yards, I turned it back on again. And when I turned it on facing right in front of me, there's an owl flying right towards me first. Missed me by about three feet. Absolutely jumped out my skin. Oh, yeah. Of course we can. Yeah, that does look rassy down there. That down there looks rassy as well. The stone mill just down the ways, I'm assuming that all of this is stone that was ground up. See, because the area of quarry over there, I don't know how well you can see it, just over in the distance there. The stone that was used for the Olympic Park for the London 2012 Olympics was mined there. So yeah, quite a famous little quarry. You all right? Yeah, okay, well be careful. <laughs> you swallowed a fly. No. That there. That looks rassy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put James down, I'm going to quickly knock up a rass rig and we'll have a little fish for five minutes. That alright with you? James's little snack pouch. There you go, best boy. What is it you want? And that's it, that's literally up. And I've tipped it all over the old rocks because I've got the packet upside down. Yeah, if you keep everything in a Ziploc bag, you don't lose it anywhere. <laughs> I have three or four different weights of leads, just all like an ounce, some 15 pound fluoro and just a, some little hooks and swivels. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to knock up really quick a little two hook racing rig. And then we'll scrat around around here looking for a bit of bait. There is a video on the Fish Locker Workshop channel showing you these knots and how to make this rig. I will tag it in here. And you're connected. There it is. How long did that take me? A couple of minutes. And I've now got a two hook racking, a two hook flapper rig, two hook racing rig. Right, I'll put these away and I'll take you now and we'll go and find a little bit of bait. You all right there? Mm-hmm. Good lad. Okay, well you just keep eating your biscuits then. Right, come down into the rocks here to try and find a little bit of bait. First thing you can see there's loads of limpets. Now look, watch. There's one, that'll do. And hopefully we'll be able to find a crab or two. So, flip over a couple of these rocks here. Flip over a couple of these rocks, see if I can't find a crab. Right, I'm going to pass you over to James the cameraman. So, 
Have you got this? Yeah. Can you see me all right? Yeah. Perfect. Right, what I've got is I've just knocked one of the limpets off the rocks. And all you need to do is you just take your knife and you just, right, what I need you to do is just angle down so you can see my hands. Can you see it? Yeah. Perfect. You just scoop your knife around the outsides of it and it just lifts out like that. It's that simple and all you need to do is take the limpet and thread it through the hook a couple of times. There you are. Can I have the camera back now? Phone property. So there you go, James the cameraman. Right, all I've done is I've just scooped out a couple of limpets and I've just hooked onto here. So there's my rig. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to fish it straight down the side of here. James! <laughs> what a big one! That's a you big just told my fishing rod? That's a sucker! <laughs> He's a big one, isn't he? What size of that? What an absolute chunk this is! This has got to be. Got to be over four pound. Look the size of that belly on it. Oh! Great! What an absolute chunk! Just taking on a a one oh chino with a little bit of limpet. Look at that! What a monster! Yes! Let's yeah, look at that. Let's yeah. get the hook out from his teeth. He's got big teeth, hasn't he? Yeah! In fact, what I'm gonna need to do here. Just use the Leatherman. Get him in this rock pool here. What a result! What a big one, eh? He just ran on his sides now. It's because the pool's not very deep, James. Now look. How simple was that? I knocked a rig up in minutes. Scratched around and collected some limpets. Let's get a photo of this fish quick before it gets away. What a beauty! I'd say it's got to be well over four pound. Right. Oh, that was a good one, wasn't it? Yeah! How big was it? So big! Yeah, told you it looked grassy down there. Alright, what we're going to do is uh, we'll fish this mark and I'm going to go further along that way now. So we'll, uh, we'll wrap up what we're doing and we'll go. It's doing what? Dripping water! There is a cave that's dripping water apparently. Yeah. So, this is where we're going. through there one of the things I'll give a I'll give a safety warning straight away is it if you're ever going to do anything like this is you need to know what the tides are doing we've got another hour of the ebb well three quarters of an hour now oh, there's a blowhole down there
That's a nice little. Okay. So I know that the tide's going to be going out for a while before it starts coming back in. So there's no real chance of us getting stuck. You need to know before you go. Which way now? You that way or that way? Through there. Through there? Yeah. I don't know about going down there. Why? I think we might go there. Oh. Okay? <laughs> okay. Right. Whoa. Do you want to do a little bit of cameraing? Hey, Dad. So there's a nice little pool down there. So we can do swimming in. This might be a decent place to come down with snorkel in summer. Come down with come down with snorkel in summer. And we'll um not so cold now. And I'll do some swimming in that hole. Yeah, apparently James is gonna do some swimming as well. So yeah, we're gonna head between between those two lumps there. I think I'll just do so, swimming let's in. Let's go. There. See if we can teleport. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Not a bad way to travel, is it, James? Mm -mm. <laughs> so let's go. Wow! A bird. Saw a bird. Oh yeah. <laughs> what are we gonna do here? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that! You want to do that, dear? Yeah! Alright, let's get you down then. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> you can't make it, can you? What you want to do is go down to that end, look. Hmm? Climb up where it's shallow. One, come on, no, come all the way up here. Sorry, right, I'm here, I'll get you. Keep coming, right here in front of me. Keep, no, this way, this way. Right, that's it. Down you come. Go on. Just walk forward. <laughs> oh no! Ah! <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. Don't trust anyone. <laughs> In these pools, we have found something. There. enemies. And here. And James is absolutely right. They are snake locks and enemies. What are they called? Snake locks and enemies. Snake, snake locks and enemies. Yeah. So yeah, he's right. The only problem now is that once we've teleported once, he wants us to do it all the time. This little area here, I am glad that I've come down and had a look. There are a lot of really good ledges. I know that. A big ship over there. I know that outside of there will be a really good ledge as well. So I'm going to come down here in the summer with the wetsuit and the snorkel because I think that um, I think there'll be a lot of life. I would come as well. Aldo, you'll come as well. That looks like a good ledge off the edge of there to try and catch a ras. Maybe try and have a little hop, skip and a jump across there. Actually, it doesn't look that deep to be honest. Clarity's really good. Right off the edge of there. We'll go and have a look and see if we can't get a ras. Right, are we going to teleport over there? Yeah! One. Two. What was that all about? 
That really is the best way to travel. Yeah. So much easier, isn't it, teleporting? I know why teleporting. Why does it make you feel poorly? It makes me feel scared. It makes you feel scared? Oh no. So no more teleporting. But yeah. We'll have a little try for a rass just down there. Well, we made it. That is the little ledge that we were just fishing off. Just down there. That is a little gap that we just came through. It does look very rassy. A couple of guys fishing on there. Right, so are we ready to go back towards where the van is now? Yeah! We'll head back there, we'll get a bite to eat. We might do a little bit of fishing when we get down there. Sound good to you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead of on the rocks. Yeah. Like you can see. Crazy. You can see where the gullies run through, can't you? What are you doing up there? Okay, well we've made it back to the beach. What we're going to do is I'm going to try and sneak us down there and we'll try and fish for a ras. Try and see if we can sneak out one more ras. You're going to have your pack out, aren't you? Yeah. And then we're going to have, throw some stones on the beach before we go home. It's been a nice little walk. Have you got a fly up your nose or something? What's going on up there? Because all you seem to be doing is you're just blowing bogies in my hair. Hey. Hey, hey, <laughs> pack that in now. <laughs> Can you believe this? <laughs> you'll be you'll be for it in a minute. That was a mini. That was a tanta. That was a big tanta. Trap it white. Was it? Even that. Yeah. Even that was. You can see where the high tide line is. That one there must have been a really big one. Are we ready? Whoa! <laughs> That's a pretty big pain. Mm. Ah! Might need to put the camera down for this one. Right, well, we're sat. Just fishing down into there. Just getting a little tiny pecking bite, actually. James, you've got your pack out, haven't you? With your crackers and your fruit pouch. Ooh. And your bread. Yeah, we will just we'll sit here, cool down for a little bit because I'm sweating a bit now. Up, oh, up, oh, that was a bite then. See it? Wanna hold this for me? Okay. Oh. I let it develop. But yeah, we're just gonna fish up. Oh, James, hold this. Missed it. Right, James the cameraman. Yeah, I missed that one. Just cast down into that little gully there. Generally like this, I would fish with it in my hand. Oh, James, hold it quick, we're gonna get another bite. Mark hold on to my hand then. We made it! One more time, Mom. Okay. One more time. I do love the smell of fresh seaweed on the beach. When it's when it's fresh up, it's nice. Uh, reminds me of when I was a kid. Go on, and you'll be quick. You're gonna have one more go on that bank. A fine walk out. Wreck it out a couple of nice spots. A couple of new marks to fish and definitely one that I'm going to come back in the summer with the wetsuit. We've um, got a fantastic, oh it was a beautiful ras. Monster, a real fat belly on it, bright orange, loads of spots. That was um, just a really simple rassing rig as well, just one that I knocked up. It took me, took me minutes and knocked a couple of limpets off the rock. So, there you are. Did try just at the other side of 
we're on the back side of there and I did get a couple of bites when me and James were sat having a bite to eat but you really need to fish with a rod in your hands because when a ras takes it to really go I did did get a really good bite but I missed it both shame yeah fantastic little walk out fresh air a bit of exercise James hasn't yet broken his neck so yeah it's a, it's a win I saw any of the locals as soon as you see that behind me you'll know exactly where that is um, <laughs> I'm not going to publicise it but I've given you enough clues in this video so you'll be able to find out where it is Dad, I want my adventure knife You want your adventure knife? Yes Okay, one second, alright, you hold this Okay, well you're going to have fun with your adventure knife I'm going to go and skip some stones and then we'll work my way back to the van I, uh, I hope you've enjoyed joining us I hope you've enjoyed the day out gorgeous day out um, All the very best Take it easy, we'll see you later.